Funny, funny, funny money. Money, money, money. Right, um, I'm going to try and keep this blog sort of as quick as possible, but there's there's going to be a lot of rambling away about different stuff. Roller, who I do actually have massive respect for, is a top guy. So he's, he's done that video that a lot of you guys know about. It's a question that comes up um, a hell of a lot. Um, we do answer it. We do get bored of answering it. But I guess having a video out there um, that you can direct people to and having a blog and stuff like that clears the air in regards to um, playing with what some people call funny money or fake money. But that is not something we do. And I don't believe a lot of the uh, stand-up streamers or any of the stand-up streamers that the most of you guys will watch and know about would uh, would dare to use those tactics. So, um, now I've got Leonardo DiCaprio throwing money in the air as if it's fake. Right, on to... Um, on to actually showing some transactions and the accounts we play out, deposits, withdrawals and all that. Um, so firstly, there is going to be a little bit of editing or chopping and changing because when I'm logging into accounts, I've got to make sure I hide um, you know, personal info transactions that may be private, they may be sent to um, individuals that don't want their names release i mean we do lots of giveaways and and we do have skill transactions going out to those people so we've got to make sure i hide them also some affiliate income um that we don't really want to show on our skill account because we believe that is that is personal sorry private information um and for us that's sort of crossing the line i know um on a separate note a lot of guys say you know let's see your uh, affiliate income history and some streamers may show that we we, I say we, me and Jamie don't actually, I wouldn't say we don't agree with that. The people that do that, that is that is their business, but that's not something we we want to go down the route of. But, you know, we think that's that should remain private um, and we will always try and, try and keep it that way. Um, in regards to affiliation, I'm not really going to drum on about it. We do obviously stream uh, regularly. Fruity Slots is part of our business. Our website that we're looking at right now is part of that business um, where we list a load of casinos. We have slot reviews on here. Um, we have big win galleries. People can upload their wins. We do our giveaways on here on our forum. So this is part of what makes up our business. We do have a consultancy arm of the business um, that Jamie works on. And we've also got a non-gaming related marketing business that, sorry, website within our marketing business that we've talked about on stream, but I'm not gonna talk about that now. Um, so the YouTube is part of that. Uh, the streaming is part of that business. It's not our only source of traffic for our affiliation. We've got the website. We do, we spend a lot of money on social. We do, I won't bore you with all the different marketing tactics. There's pop-unders, there's pop-ups, there's SEO, there's paid media. Obviously, there's social. And YouTube and Twitch is, is just one angle that we, we do as part of Fruity Slots. Um, so, in terms of transactions, um, some streamers, or I don't know actually how many. I think the full, full, full-time streamers, and I'm just... I don't know how they do it, and I'm not going to ask them, and I'm not even going to mention their names. But I would guess that a lot of their transactions don't just go straight in and out of a bank account because that is going to create a very messy bank account. That's not going to be great for credit. That's not going to be great for getting things like mortgages. And if they are running a business, it would make more sense, in my opinion, or the way we do it, is to keep those gambling transactions as far away from a traditional bank account as possible. So that is how we do it. Um, if people wanna say, let's see your bank account, you won't see gambling transactions fly in and out. I've had problems with that in the past. We keep it all in Skrill, and that way we can keep it separate from our bank account. And we use Skrill almost as a float to deposit and withdraw from casinos. And if we, we've been lucky enough to have some big wins to keep it afloat, but if we're we're ever in a state where we need to top up that flow, we will either use 
um, affiliate income going into our screw or as last resort transfer money from either a personal account or business bank account to screw but that is very hard in itself to do you know if you have a big if you have a business account trying to move money into something like Skrill is difficult because Skrill is deemed um, well it's not completely a, a gaming um, payment solution but it, it's very close to that so actually if we were just trying to upload or send money from a business traditional bank account to Skrill you're going to encounter problems doing that and when we need to we can move from Skrill to our business account easily moving from our business account to Skrill is a lot harder so um, that is a lot more waffling than I intended to do let's crack on with the main casinos we play at show you transactions show you our Skrill account so as you guys know most the majority of our streaming done on Unibet, that's one of our big partners. Genesis brand, so it's Genesis, Casino, Joy's big partner. Slotty Vegas over the last few months. Recently, a bit of Kasumo, um, a little bit of Betfair and Paddy Power. We do some videos. Let's start off having a look at our Skrill account. And again, apologies if there's a bit of editing, but I've got to make sure we, um, we hide some personal information. All right, here we are in our Skrill account recently. Um, like I said, there'll be a bit of chopping and changing because I want to hide some people's details if they haven't given me permission to show their full names, email addresses, things like that. So you can see we've got some recent Kasumo transactions. That's withdrawal, deposit, deposit. That is some affiliate income. Um, fair enough, we'll show that EGO marketing. That That is... Um, Play Ojo, slots, not slots millions, Play Ojo and slots, slots, slots something else, can't even remember. Um, all right, another Kasumo transaction, Kasumo, that's all Kasumo there. Um, one moment whilst I hide this person's name. Up to 6th of June, so we've got bank trans. Well, let's scroll all the way up. So we've got bank transfer there, so something's coming out. First clear, that is Unibet. Um, first clear limited is Unibet. Maxent limited, that is Slotty Vegas. So we'll draw deposit there. Genesis deposits, Maxent deposit, Unibet. Um, and that's more Maxent limited. Scroll down, we've got Genesis. Just gonna make sure nothing pops up that is private. More Genesis there. Um, 27th of May, first clear, and Genesis, 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 Power, Leisure, Bookmakers, that's Paddy Power, what's that for, 1,000, we have um, some affiliate income coming up, I'm just going to, alright, I think that is enough, my large forehead is covering one affiliate um, payment, so that's fine, it's not the end of the world if we show that, it's not even a large amount, um, so we've got that big transaction at the top here, 20,000. That is Jamie's big, big, big win on Primal that you may know about. And that should be enough. We've got more Genesis there, Unibet, um, affiliate payment, and Betfair. Right, so that's Skrill. Let's see how that matches up to our uh, casino account, albeit that that should probably be enough to show anyway. All right, back to our website for a minute. Um, I've logged in. Here's our Slotty Vegas um, transaction history. Um, latest one, 5th of June. We're not playing there at the moment because they're waiting to hear what's happened with their UK license. There is a possibility their UK gambling license being revoked. So we're off Slotty Vegas for the moment, but that withdrawal matches up. What we showed you in the Skrill account, deposits, add funds, withdrawals, etc., etc. Um, next casino, let's flip over to Genesis. All right, this is Genesis um, showing our deposits. Actually, not that many deposits. We're on a massive heater on Genesis and Casino Joy. Some transactions get cancelled. They could be pending. Um, nice. So 24th of May was the last withdrawal. So a few weeks ago, 1,619.5. Again, some cancellations. So those, that will match up what we saw on the other screen. That will probably be... Um, either some deposits or, or reverses, I'm sure. So let's see if we can just match one of them up quite quickly. So 24th 
of May 24th, 1901,000. Let's, let's have a look. All right, and there we are. There's the 25th. 19, 6, and the 1,000, which was there. Right, so that's Genesis done. On to Kasumo, because there's not a lot to show there. That's We showed that at the, um, that was the more recent ones, right at the top of our screen. So the 500, 500, 240, 300. So not massive there, net deposits, 2,000 withdrawals. So we're up. 720 quid uh recently this month my betfair account again that was back in i'll oh, forget about those ones um because that came up on our transaction so grand deposited there two grand withdrawn um and then we'll show you because the big ones came from unibet so let's have a quick look at that all right, this is Unibet um, from the 5th of, sorry, the 1st of May to now. Net deposits 4,000, so withdrawal, we've got 915 or 1,000. Uh, in terms of deposits, I'm going to show you, but I'm going to have to cover the screen because it's got my ID. So let me just have a flick of this. Right, that was my uh, very creative way of hiding my ID. So what we've got, 5th of June. Thousand. These are all deposits. Thousand. Back in May, May, and all the way back to April. So that would all match up. And then I guess um, that is everything. I might as well show you the big one, Jamie's um, Jamie's big win because that was the twenty k withdrawal. So I'll show you that, and then that hopefully should clear up any of the questions we got about all the transactions and deposits and withdrawals and uh, real money that um, a lot of guys love to ask, guys and girls, should I say. All right, finally, Jamie's Skrill account. I know he's not as active on the streaming as me, but he's still punting, he still makes some videos, and he, he obviously still involved. So recently, June, beginning of June, was the last one, Slotty Vegas. Got Genesis as well, Rational Poker. He loves a bit of poker. Addison Group. I think that I think he's been betting. I think Addison Group is Mo Play or Sports Pest or something. Punting recently. Bet Victor is obviously having a punt. Bet first. More punting. He loves punting, Jamie. So he doesn't stream. He just punts. There's more gambling. Bet Victor transaction there. Um, let's get back down to the actual slots, slots, slots. There it is, first clear limited, like I mentioned. There's the transaction he sent to me after he got the big payout from Unibet, which is first clear limited. So there it was, 3K, 10K, 10K, 23 out from, I think that was a 1,000 deposits, so very nice. Um, and a bit more punting down there. Genesis, poker, betting. So that covers it all. As you see, we are we're we're nicely up thanks to um thanks to that big Unibet win. And also, I do have over twenty grand pending at the moment on Casino Joy. Um, I've got to do some source of funds or reprove my ID. We we're on a big heater there. We've been doing lots of little withdrawals of nineteen hundred, and we had a stream about. Two weeks ago now, I think the YouTube video up where we had like a 10K or 15K out. I don't even, it was crazy. But <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm losing track, but we have definitely been on a big heater and the wins have been coming in nicely. So I've got about 20 grand pending there that I guess once that's cleared, I can I can show you as well. Um, so that is enough of all the, um, all the transaction nonsense. Well, it's not really nonsense because I know how important it is to um, a lot of viewers out there. So I shouldn't call it nonsense, but um, I'm sure there will be a few others coming out the woodwork doing something similar, um, each to their own. So on to uh, just some more interesting stuff, probably not. What's going on this month at Fruity Slots? So we are, we've got a Temple of Treasure giveaway. The giveaways we've done over the last few months, the Fishing Frenzy one and the, um, Extra chili one proved very successful. That's one reason I covered some squirrel transactions. We've we've sent out a fair bit of money to people. Um, 
recently on that. So happy day. So Temple of Treasure, we're giving away five £200 bonus buys. Um, again, free to join. All the information is on our website. Link will be in the video description. Um, all you've got to do is make an account at Party Casino. You don't need to deposit. We've got our usual um, cash giveaways this month. This month, it's um, £1,000 at 32 Red, £1,000 at Windstar, £1,000 at Casino Luck. Not that many entries so far, 14, 12, 18. So plenty of chances um, to win some money there. All of them pay the same. Three, 300, 250, 200, 150, 100. Information is is on this page. Um, very simple to enter. Enter now. Pops up. Join Windstar. So that will take there. And then you've got to put in your email address. All the entries come up there. And the details of what you need to do. So make a deposit of at least 20 quid. Um, etc etc so that covers the giveaways what else oh yes that was it one more thing I wanted to talk about um, we've got a little discussion board going up link is on the video description um, it's a site called Qt it's like a, it's a bit like a social media site where you can um, comment replies and polls but we've got a little thread up on dead or alive too um, working with this QT to get some feedback on the game. So 126 comments so far. We're giving away, um, again, it takes about one minute to sign up to this and answer some polls down the right-hand side. You'll see, is this NetEnt's best game of the year? Biggest win on the game? Uh, do you prefer playing this than Megaways? What What do you prefer, Dead or Alive 1 or 2? Um, what bonus feature do you tend to go for? High Noon Saloon, Train Heist, etc. So there's six polls there, and then a simple question, you know, your thoughts on the game. Some people have given some nice big answers, some people have given some one-liners. Um, but we're giving away three lots of £100. Um, just anyone that's um, entered this, so sort of entered some feedback or, or answered the polls, we're going to pick three people at random, and um, that closes 19th of June. So you've got another few days to uh, stick your comment in there, but link is on the video description and we're gonna pick three people at random, um, give it away 100 pounds. And that sort of covers it. There's two other bits and pieces. We've now got a fruity merchandise store. Um, again, you'll find the links on our website on the description. We've got some hoodies, F the RTP. Fruity slots, fist it in, some mugs, phone cases, socks, towels, all sorts, all different colours. I'm going to have to buy a few more of this. I haven't even bought them myself yet. It's pretty bad. I'm going to get some for me and Jamie. I don't know if they do extra, extra large for Jamie, but we'll have a look. I think they're quite nice. We've got the blue, we've got that in red, black. Um, and last but not least, if anyone is on the lookout, for a marketing job and wants to join the Fruity family. We are looking for someone in marketing, specifically, or especially should I say, social media. Um, managing our social accounts. There'll be some webs website stuff to do on Fruity websites, lots of content. Um, we've got a lot of ideas, a lot of features we wanna add and grow to that. Um, managing some of the promotions, some giveaways. All bits and pieces, but I can speak more about that um, once people have got in touch. So if you are interested, um, if you're looking for a new role, probably looking for full time, but it may be part time to start. It depends um, sort of who uh, who comes our way. But if you are interested, uh, email contact at fruityslots.com. A um, bit about yourself, CV would be... Uh, preferential if you can attach that but if we are interested we will get back to you if you don't hear from us we will at least reply with an email but um we're not ignoring you but that that covers that covers the updates those are the giveaways that's the transactions stuff we've got the dead alive board the merchandise and the website so ah bit of a bit of a boring v blog but for some of you that's uh that's interesting Maybe I'll do more in the future, more about actual affiliation, marketing, some other bits and pieces. If there is stuff specifically you'd like to know more about or want us to do vlogs about, then please put a comment in the video, let us know, and I'll do my best 
Jamie's calling me now. I better pick up the phone to her. Much love. Keep catch you on the next streams and uh, stay fruity.